Yo, I thought this was fake. I was like, no way they got him again. Or at least got an allegation on him again, rather. Say, there's no way. There's no way. I thought he was about to get not guilty. They let him start roaming around Romania, as crazy as that sounds. Who were speaking about? Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate. It looks like their home was raided again. They were detained and arrested once again and brought in for... You would think new charges? No, the same charges. I think it's, I want to say, I want to say allegedly because we don't know, we're not reading the exact charges, but it looks like it's human trafficking once again. How does that work? How are you fighting a human trafficking case and you get hit with another human trafficking, another human trafficking case? I don't understand how this works, but we saw Andrew Tate, but well, we saw Andrew Tate getting transported from the jail to, I believe, another jail. It looks like Andrew Tate is transported from wherever this building is here to another jail or pri prison. And that's when they were going to determine if he'll stay one day or if he was going to do the 30-day holding as they have in Romania. Andrew Tate was let go today because there's a clip that came out. Before we watch that clip, because I haven't seen it yet, I did see this one and I just wanted to show you guys this, which is him coming out of the jail. Andrew Tate detained as Romanian cops probe new human trafficking allegations. That's what I'm saying. How do you get new allegations? That's the same thing. Didn't he get hit with human trafficking the first time? Please explain. What do you say about his kid? He said he tricked his girl into having kids. I don't even know Andrew Tay had kids. I'm not even going to lie to you. And Tristan Tay is saying that they did these things so they can't see their kids. Last time. That's insane. So they're basically saying that they manipulated women into having their children, I guess. It sounds crazy. I can't wait till we see more evidence or more information actually coming out from this. Let's see the clip of them speaking outside the jail and sharing their thoughts. Yo, before we before we see the clip with him coming out of jail today and speaking, I just want to show you guys this one. This is when they raid the house and they take Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate out of their home and they transport them to that building we saw them coming out. <laughs> My boy Tristan Tate came out looking like a 1920s paper boy. Like imagine living on this block with all this media and everything that's been happening and raised in the last like two years. The boys out there like a Call of Duty mission. That's when they went in. So that's when they originally all went in. That shows like it's the wee hours of the morning. And you guys remember, a couple weeks ago, Andrew Tate was like, yo, they're finally allowing me to travel. Where am I gonna go? Am I gonna go here? Am I gonna go there? Bro, this nigga, like, he stayed in Romania. Did they allow him to travel, you think, so he can get the hell up out of there? Like, get the message, bro. We don't want you in Romania no more. Is that why they allowed him to travel? I just, I don't know. But it looks like to me, he stayed. You should have went. The day that they gave me back my passport and said you can go wherever you want, bet. Bet. Thank you kindly. I don't want to be a flight risk, but if they allow me to go wherever I want, it makes the most sense in the world to get the hell up out of there. He did not, and it looks like more allegations came his way. This was from today when they were let out. Him and Tristan Tate. Let's see what Andrew Tate had to say. I have not seen this video yet. If you have not liked the video, subscribe to the channel. Please do so. We're on that road to 10,000 subscribers. We will do a giveaway at 10,000 subs. You are okay? Like the power. Yes? Oh, are free? Free, free. Listen, I'm going to say something to everybody. Listen to me. I moved to Romania 10 years ago. And I found an amazing country full of beautiful people. And I told the whole world about Romania. If you mention the name Romania anywhere in the world, they'll say, Andrew Tate was there, Andrew Tate was there. I've done nothing but promote this country. I've done nothing but say fantastic things about Romania endlessly. And when I did this, people would say to me, if Romania is so nice, if it's so safe, it's so beautiful, why has it got such a bad reputation? And I said, well, there's probably a few bad actors, a few bad people who destroyed the entire reputation. Like the few fools at DCOP who just came along and told us that the mothers of our children are somehow human traffic. I've been nice, I've been patient, I've played the game, I've respected the judiciary, I've gone to every appointment on time, but they bust in my house again. 
And now come along saying there's 35 victims. You know all 30 of those girls, 30 of them, have statements in our defense. 30 saying we've done absolutely nothing wrong. Two, up to two more of the mothers of our children. And two more have never even been to Romania. They've never even been here. They just found random girls we knew in other countries and made them sign pieces of paper. This is a setup. It's absolutely disgusting. That's crazy. So now they even got his baby mother as one of the victims. They got 30 other girls. And he, sounded, he said every single one of them said that they were working with them willingly. Remember, Top G always talked about how he started his riches and all that was doing cam girls. And I guess a lot of that cam girl stuff that they were doing back in the day is what they're using now to try to come at them with. Fair play to that judge who saw through the bullshit and let us free. Okay. And also, one more thing. The media is complicit. All of you are. When they first threw up, when they first put us in there, you're all running around saying human trafficker. None of you said, where's the evidence? Where's the proof? Where's the pictures? Where's the videos? None. Three years later, they f***ing bullshit. And you're all sitting there going, human trafficking. I'm not a human trafficker, clearly. If you human traffic someone, there is evidence. This is a setup. It's a stitch up. The three prosecutors at call in my house, I said, why are you here? There's no case. They said, there's a case if we make one. Set up. All of it is. And, and listen, quiet, quiet. I'm going to talk to you, sir. Quiet. Quiet. This, this is a setup. It is done on purpose, and it is designed to come up with the most heinous possible crimes to slander our name. And every single Romanian citizen should be disgusted that they are spending millions of euros. All right, let's watch this clip. The last one was giving me a headache. I just didn't like the Well angle. done, well done. Truth, let them free. I moved to Romania 10 years ago. I found an amazing country full of beautiful people. And I told them. When I do think about Romania, I think about the tape, brothers. I ain't even gonna lie. To you. The whole world about Romania. If you mention the name Romania anywhere in the world, they'll say, Andrew Tate lives there, Andrew Tate lives there. I've done nothing but promote this country. I've done nothing but say fantastic things about Romania endlessly. And when I did this, people would say to me, if Romania is so nice, if it's so safe, it's so beautiful, why has it got such a bad reputation? And I said, well, there's probably a few bad actors, a few bad people who destroyed the entire reputation. Like the few fools at DCOP who just came along and told us that the mothers of our children are somehow human trafficking. I've been nice, I've been patient, I've played the game, I've respected the judiciary, I've gone to every appointment on time, but they busted my house again. And now I'll come along saying there's 35 victims. You know all 30 of those girls, 30 of them, have statements in our defense, 30 say we've done absolutely nothing wrong, two, up to two more of the mothers of our children, and two more have never even been to Romania, they've never even been here. They just found random girls we knew in other countries and made them sign pieces of paper. This is a setup, it's absolutely disgusting. Fair play to that judge who saw through the bullshit and let us free. And also, one more thing, the media is complicit, all of you are. When they first threw in jail when they first put us in there you're all running around saying human trafficker none of you said where's the evidence where's the proof where's the pictures where's the videos none three years later they do the same fucking bullshit and you're all sitting there going human trafficking i know human trafficker clearly if you human traffic someone there is evidence this is a setup it's a stitch up the three prosecutors at call in my house i said why are you here there's no case they said there's a case if you make one set up all of it is and, and listen quiet quiet i'm gonna talk to you sir quiet. <laughs> they can hit him like a son quiet quiet i'm not speaking to you quiet damn be quiet, be quiet. This is set up, it is done on purpose, and it is designed to come up with the most heinous possible crimes to slander our name. And every single remaining citizen should be disgusted that they are spending millions of euros wasting their time trying to put innocent men in jail instead of fixing the roads, fixing the hospitals, fixing this country. You have a beautiful country full of beautiful people, and three idiots at DCOM have fucked everything. As for money laundering, sure, I'll approach that. Money laundering, no problem. Supposedly, we're money launderers because we buy luxury goods, and we try and hide that we buy luxury goods for other people and hide our money. If you buy your girlfriend a handbag in Romania, they charge you money longer this is disgusting this is disgusting we have children this is disgusting Thank you. so i guess they're trying to hit him a money laundering due to buying extravagant gifts for people around the world and sending it out that's crazy we see andrew tate was released shout out to fessy uk if i'm saying their channel correctly but it looks like they posted a video as i was searching for this one that bumped into it when his stream was stopped when they were raiding the crib. Earlier, and he was doing a live stream explaining what was happening when the police pulled up to his house again. Look at his face as he's confused as the police literally have pulled up. Don't know what is going on now if they're going back to which are easily debunked, uh, pushed out quite remarkable, and we can see it now. One of the things that's just breaking news, you know, within the last hour is that one of the um, victims that have been put forward in this new case is Vivian. Now, I've, I've met Vivian, I've had dinner with both of those, uh, with her and Andrew. Smart woman, very well spoken, very, very, very... I'm assuming Vivian's a baby mother. ...mentally aware, like she's a smart individual. We're going to say that she's a victim, even though she was with Tate for, for years, and I've seen them in videos again. Now, what, what happened to a woman's ability to choose what she wants to do? And again, she has said time and time again. Again, people understand that OnlyFans stuff in America, this is all normal, and all this cam girl, all that shit is normal here. In the mother country, there's no way that she's doing that with her own self-will. There's no way. This guy had it. This guy got to be manipulating her. Until they just look at America and look at our lifestyle, that everybody's like, eh, go get a job. 
Go to college. Ooh. Or, or I could post this pussy online and somebody give me a thousand. Whatever works, it's <laughs> whatever you decide to do, just do whatever is best for you. But let's see if we can find the actual stream that was stopped. Let's, let's see this before we end this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, that, that should break my heart. I'll be terrified. Please here. Please here. What are doing here? Tate Brothers were just to have a police. All right, so that's just everybody just posting that little clip online. There's not much from it. And then just what we see with the cops jumping over the fence, that's the next couple clips. I don't know. Yo, what do you guys think will come from this? What more information you think will be leaked about the situation? Do you think anything will happen? And the fact that they weren't held for 30 days once again, like they were three years ago. Damn, three years already? That shit? Three years already he's been dealing with this? That's crazy. Time really be flying. Time really be flying. But what do you think will come from this? We shall see. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. I just hope the truth comes from this. Because to give somebody crimes like that just because you don't like them is crazy to me. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Please share your thoughts about everything going on. If you have any more information about what's going on, please share it with me. We're doing a, we will be doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. So sub up.